K47 here with another board hack. In honor of all the YouTubers in Japan, I figured I'd show you all my trick to protect my boards while I travel. Presenting the edge guard. This trick works great for airlines, shipping, storing them in a skybox, or even loose in the back of your vehicle. This setup only set me back about $3 American. I want to say these were $1.50 each for half inch hot water pipe insulation tubes. And all they are is just a piece of insulation here that's already split open so you can wrap them around your board. And the only tools that I used for this product are actually this crazy knife that is super scary looking but as you can see it's got a serrated edge on it and that really makes it for sawing through the styrofoam super easy. So let's show you how I did this with my PAL board all my other board I'm going to take with me. Here you are in my kitchen because I have plenty of space here. You want to make sure that you have plenty of space wherever you're set up too because you will be flailing these things around and you don't want to knock anything over. I found that two is more than enough for all the boards that I ride and I have to trim some down. However, if you guys ride some gnarly large board, then obviously you're going to want to consider purchasing a third one while you're at the hardware store. Also, if you save the end pieces from when you trim them down, if you have a dovetail board, these work great for sliding in the inside of the V-notch. That way you don't have any issues with that either. So the first step is going to be to bust open the seal on the factory installation. If you just run your thumb down here, it makes it the quickest process. I find it's always best to start on the end of the board roughly figure out where you want it to be if your other one's already on so you're not too far and then you clip it in so that way the way the board holds it in place. I tend to put the bottoms or I tend to put the top sheet on side first and then roll the base side around and over the top so that way it doesn't get caught on the metal edge. when the time comes to cut the end off here, you always want to measure it about on and then go out a little bit because these will always kind of expand a little during shipping and the best way to keep it together is to just add a little bit of extra slack. And voila, all of our edges are protected, and we're ready to travel. Alright, now your edges are all sealed up, and you're ready to send it. Uh, the board, that is, you have to wait until you get to your destination before you can send it on the board, just to be clear. But even when the airline trashes your board or loses it, just rent another one or borrow your buddies and board through the pain!